Hello and uh, welcome to part 2 How and where to save your files and folders This represents our desktop and here we are interested in one particular icon It is icon My Computer It is very, very important that you know hierarchy of your computer because you need to know where you saved or downloaded files from internet. So usually you have a local disk C and it really depends on your computer configuration. Do you have data D or data F? We are interested in these two folders, My Documents and Images folder. We need to know where we saved our images on our computer. So let's say we saved it on local disk C in folder My Documents. Inside of My Documents folder we have Images folder. This would be the path to your file c colon forward slash my documents forward slash images when we create folders they are of course empty and let's see now what kind of files and what formats these files can be we are going to start with images files we need to know the format of these files because we need to save our files correctly and we need to know how we saved as the JPEGs or GIFs or PNGs. Video files can have MP4 format, FLV, WMV, AVI, and many more, but we are not going to learn them all, just the most used ones. So let's say we have movie on our computer, Titanic, and this would be the name of the file, titanic.mp4. So what format it would be, it depends how you saved and what format you saved your file as. We can have text files, and text files can be PDFs, Word, HTML. So let's say if we have ebook, The Alchemist, the name would be The Alchemist.pdf, would be the name of this file. We have special interest in uh, HTML documents because our web pages will be saved as HTML documents most known and most common music files are mp3 files special kind of files are executable files their extension is exe we use this file to execute programs or to install programs or sometimes people refer to it as run a program. We are going to download and install composer.exe. File sizes. We are going to start with kilobytes, thousand kilobytes is uh, one megabyte thousand megabytes is one gigabyte and thousand gigabytes is one terabyte A folder is uh, bigger in hierarchy than file We can put different kinds of files 
in one folder. So we can put JPEGs, MP3s, HTMLs, MP4s all together in one folder. Where to save your web pages? We save our web pages in public underscore HTML or in some very rare cases www underscore HTML. This is actually where most people fail. They do not know how to upload and where to upload their web pages. We are going to learn this in much more depth as we progress. So don't worry, you are going to learn this. What is of utmost importance is that you understand that basically your site is just one gigantic folder. When you understand this, everything else just falls into place. Where to save your web pages? In the root of your website. And this is the path public underscore HTML my site. We are going to store here our web pages that we create as HTML documents. Our landing page would be index.html. Our about page that we create would be about.html and our contact page would be contact.html Files and folders on your computer and on your site. This purple color on the left represents your files and folders on your computer we are going to create a folder and we are going to name this folder www.mysite.com and I am going to refer to this folder as your project folder. On the right hand side this orange color represents folder on our site. So how we are going to organize our project folder on your computer? We are going to create images folder inside of this project folder. This is where we are going to store image files that we are going to use on our site. And we are going to store web pages inside of this project folder. Files and folders on our site are going to be organized in the same way as we organized our project folder. This is the path for index file on our site. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.mysite.com forward slash index.html If you change one letter, file won't be found, uppercase or lowercase letters as well. So I suggest that when you are saving your files, you type name of your files in lower letters only. And of course, just be careful how you save your files. Everything on the internet have the address. Every image have his own address. When we know that our site is just one big folder, and let's say we create image folder and upload to our site, Our image folder is on our site and inside of this images folder we have 
image file that we named cat.jpg. And this will be the full address for this file that we stored in our images file that is now on our site folder http colon forward slash forward slash www dot mysite.com forward slash images forward slash cat dot jpeg Again, if you change one letter, file won't be found, uppercase or lowercase letters as well. Again, I suggest you type when you save your files, you save them just in lower cases. This is the most challenging part of creating website and this is where most people fail. So just be careful how you save your files. We are going to learn how to uninstall programs and for that we are going to go to our control panel. Sometimes in order to install a program we need to uninstall old and outdated program. I'm going to introduce you to CNET www.cnet.com this is a site where they write reviews on programs and they test these programs for viruses and uh, spyware and this is where I believe is the safest place you can go and download programs from. We are going to learn how to download and install programs. We are going to download and install Earthen View and all these programs that you see here. We are going to use Earthen View to resize our images. FileZilla to upload our pages to our hosting company server. Composer to create our web pages. Photoscape to create animated images. Primo PDF to create ebooks out of Word documents and WOW slider to create slideshows for our website. And this concludes part two, and we are heading now to part three the basics explained, and this is where we are going to see all this that we learned live in action.